Hello everybody, this is Jeff Rose, Dirty Country Songs, and I'm Jeff Rose, and uh, wrote a song, and I figured I'd put it on there, so this ain't no parody or nothing like that, this is just a song I wrote. Grandma, don't watch this. My channel ain't for grandmas and kids and children and church folks, and if you don't want to hear a dirty song, don't watch, so there, just get that out the way. Anyway, this song here is called Silent Farts, and I wrote this because, uh, Whenever we out at the deer camp or any party or whatever, somebody lets a silent fart, we say that's a gay fart. You know, uh, somebody let a silent fart, a silent fart's a gay fart. So uh, I was thinking about somebody let a silent fart the other day and I was thinking about that and uh, how we call it a gay fart. And uh, anyway, I wrote a song called Silent Farts. It's about a fella whose nickname is Silent Farts and it goes like this. We call him Silent Farts Silent Farts is his name For ten long years he's been in prison And his booty hole won't ever be the same Well, he went off to prison when he was very young They threw him in the cell with a big black feller that was hung and every day for ten long years he took it up the ass Now no one ever knows when he's got gas and we call him Silent Farts Silent Farts is his name For ten long years he's been in prison And his booty hole won't ever be the same well, we knew he was a changed man when he got paroled. He moved back home to our little town. You can bet if you smelt it, he's the one that dealt it. But his booty hole won't ever make a sound. We call him Silent Farts. Silent Farts is his name. For ten long years he's been in prison. And his booty hole won't ever be the same No, his booty hole won't ever be the same That song's called Silent Farts. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll go, that, was short, that song was kind of short, so I'll put another one on there like that. I got a bunch of them I ain't put on there yet. Let me put another one on there. Do I? Oh, this, well, this one ain't that good, but I'll put it on there anyway. I wrote, uh, one time we had a party a long time ago, years ago, and uh, this one of the first dirty songs I wrote, uh, one of the fellas got drunk and passed out in the bedroom in there, and uh, there was a girl in there in the bed with him, but he was passed out drunk. We went in there and snuck that girl out of the bed, and uh, and we put a goat in there, and that goat was in there laying in the bed with him, and uh, everybody's laughing at that, and we'd go in there and take pictures of him laid up in the bed with that goat, you know. And uh, we all thought that was funny back in, and uh, I growed out of that stuff, though. I don't, we don't do stuff like that no more, but, well, uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> we do, we didn't grow out of that stuff. But anyway, uh, I was thinking about that the other day, and uh, and uh, about the goat being in the bed with that fella, and I wrote a song, I mean, uh, I remember that song I had wrote about that, so... I'm going to do that one. <laughs> Bill went to bed drunker than he'd been in his life. And in the bed there was a goat instead of his wife. And just when he started to misbehave, he said, hold on, honey, I believe you forgot to shave. And he fucked a goat. He fucked a goat. He drank that fifth of Jack, and that was all she wrote. He must have thought his wife was wearing a fur coat. Sure as I'm standing here, that boy is supposed to go. He woke up the next morning, scratching on his head, trying to figure out why that goat was in his bed. <laughs> He tried to recall last night exactly what took place 
But he had that I just fucked a goat Look up on his face He fucked a goat He fucked a goat He drank that fifth of Jack And that was all she wrote He must have thought his wife Was wearing a fur coat Sure as I'm standing here That boy fucked a goat pretty funny there i thought but uh hope y'all laugh at them like i do it's all for fun you know and uh i hope everybody enjoys it and thank you for all the like and subscribing and all the good comments and stuff i really appreciate it and i'll see you next time